Anyway, I've uh, picked up a hitchhiker. Hello! everybody welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching we just parked the car up that's my car there by the way if you didn't know that's mine uh, and my truck is not here where is it good question uh, it's parked in the yard around the corner because we're already hitched up to a very special trailer and uh, yeah let's go and get it anyway so we uh, we're just walking down the uh, little road that we uh, drove out of. We're going to go into this yard right here. So make sure the gate opens. Yeah gate's opening. Right so get ready. We're about to see what we're actually hitched up to. And there we go. There's my truck. This is the Lamborghini Club UK trailer exhibition trailer. And uh, we're taking this to Cardiff today. Worth pointing out that it is actually a Saturday today as well. Um, so we're only doing the morning, we're just driving there, dropping it off and then driving back. But I put a post up on YouTube, um, on, in, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, just, just a picture of this and uh, everyone was like, vlog, 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 vlog. So that's what I'm doing. So that's the trailer. And that's what we're taking. So we need to get inside, get set up, uh, do some checks, and I'll uh, I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Okay, so uh, the time now is uh, 5:40 in the morning. Uh, daily checks are done. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you can see, but I've just been in uh, bought myself a new orange beacon to go at the front, uh, in the middle. So we've got more beacons. They're actually brighter than the uh, the ones on the top. But never mind, it's all good. More beacons can be seen. So, interesting thing about this trailer. It's going to be uh, the first trailer I pulled with no ABS. So, what I imagine that means is there's no brakes. Or no locking brakes. Anti-brake system, locking brake system, you know what I mean. So, easy on the brakes, basically. Uh, I don't know whether it's all locked up or not, it should be. Yeah, it's all locked up. Everything I need, I believe, is in this one. This is also locked up. So, I can't drop it until I get there and the guy is there with the keys. Because in that bottom thing there is the, um, the handle for the legs and also all the blocks to put the legs onto. Uh, the legs are hidden. There's an exhibition trailer, it's all hidden, you can't really see it very well. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool trailer. We are good to go. Uh, it's just a little bit too early at the moment to actually leave. We haven't actually got to be in Cardiff until nine o'clock. I think if we leave now, we'll get there like eight, maybe quarter past eight. And um, the particular place we've got to go to, uh, it's, we've got to go into a pedestrianised area. Um, and they've got like lower bollards by, by um, a bus stop. So I'm hoping I can pull into the bus stop and just wait there, but I don't want to get there too early because then I'd be interfering with, uh, with buses. But yeah, so what we're going to do anyway is we're going to get out of the yard. We're just going to get onto the main service road um, and then we'll be good to go from there. going to open the gates and then close them up behind me. So yeah, let's get going out of the gates. Right, so we are good to go, or at least get out of the yard. So uh, let's open the gates and uh, let's go on out.
Right, so, we're just waiting for that gate in front of you to open up completely. I can uh, get into position anyway. Okay, so straight away I can tell that this trailer is not too heavy. They said it was about 20 tonne, but it feels quite a bit lighter than that. To me, anyway. Okay, I'm coming for you. <laughs> what I'm doing is just reversing straight out onto this road. This trailer is quite short compared to the one I normally drive, so it's turning very quick from what I'm used to. By the way, I am using 100% mirrors. That's a message for Jay. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to stop here for a second. Turn my engine off because I don't need it on. <clears throat> I'll just close those gates back up. That one there is coming towards you. And you're going to move forward as well. I'm going to come and uh, take you off of the fence before the gate's shut. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get you. In fact, the gate might stop now. Okay. I'm getting bored of waiting around. Um, it is 6.35 in the morning. If you leave now, ETA is 20 past 8. Not got to be there till 9. But... I'm going to start making my way and just, just drive slowly, really. Better turn left. I'm just going to drive, uh, take my time to get in there, no rush. Love the middle axle down. Lift axle was up, we'll have it down. So yeah, we're going to make our way there quite chillfully, peacefully, no rush at all. Just chill out. I feel there's no brakes on the trailer already. <laughs> Just going to test the swing on the front. There's not much swing on the front, so that's good, but there is a lot of swing on the back. So I do need to be careful on the uh, on the back of the trailer. Make sure it doesn't swing out too much when I'm going around the, uh, the seat centre, because it is going to swing out a little bit. Anyone in the yard? No, not that I can see. Anyway, it's quite a miserable day today, isn't it? Yes. I don't think there's going to be any sunshine today, that's for sure. Um, as I mentioned briefly earlier, so all I'm doing with this is I'm going to Cardiff, going to, the, I think it's called the Raud, Raudol Place in Cardiff, um, dropping the trailer off, and then I'm bobtailing back to the yard empty. Um, so I should, in theory, hopefully, be back by 12 o'clock, I would have hoped back in the yard by 12 so it's not too long of a shift do you know what I mean about about six hours six and a half hours depends on when I get back really um, as for what's in the trailer um, it's merchandise Lamborghini merchandise I'm, I'm assuming like t-shirts and hats and magazines I think they got um, drinks on board as well but that's all I know um, I did ask him, I, I said, because I've never never done this work for these guys before, my boss has, my boss knows them quite well, um, but I don't, so when I picked up the trailer I did ask him, do you mind telling me what's on board, just so I got an idea, I like to know what I'm roughly carrying, you can't always know, for example when you're on containers, um, you, ain't, you haven't got a clue what's inside, <laughs> no idea, you don't know if it's top heavy, bottom heavy, no idea, but if you can get an idea of what's inside, it's always good to know, just so you can... Uh, adjust your driving accordingly you've stopped right on the narrowest part is he stopping there is he reversing he's reversing i was gonna say it's quite tight i don't fancy going up on the curb with this exhibition trailer i 
It's not my trailer, so I don't want to drag the wheels on the curb. There we go. First obstacle. What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, what's on board? So, like I said, as far as I'm aware, it's clothing. Uh, it's an exhibition trailer, so it's just going to be merchandise and like, basically. Um, apparently it's around about 20 tonnes, because I, I wanted to know roughly how much it weighed. Pulling it, it doesn't feel like 20 tonnes, to me. I've paid, I've, uh, I've pulled various weights on, on container work. And I would say this feels about 15-ish. At the moment. Yeah, I think, I think it's about 15 tonne, personally. Yeah. I'll just double checking the height of the trailer. I do know the height of the trailer. It's 3.95. Um, and my truck is just under four meters. So I was just double checking visually the height of the trailer there because we will be going under Marsby Bridge, which is a 4.2 meter bridge, but we're, we're getting there, no problem at all. I pull uh, slightly taller trailers than this trailer and got under it, that's for sure. So it should be okay. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, <laughs> I was talking to my boss yesterday and apparently, um, while pulling this trailer, sometimes he gets Lamborghinis overtake him, like honking their horn. So we'll see if we can get any of that on camera today. Might not be able to. Jesus, that's a bit windy. There was a tree in the middle of the road on the way to work this morning in my car. I had to go on the other side of the road to, uh, to miss it. It was quite a big chunk as well. It's definitely a bit windy out there today. I'm going to be going careful over the Seven Bridge, that's for sure. Imagine tipping this trailer over at Seven Bridge. Oh. Anyway. Let's crack on to uh, Cardiff. Let's get crack a lacking, as I like to say. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, so we're on the motorway, we're on the M4. Just going past Lee Delamere Services, actually, uh, which is where Scott was in his last video. Go watch Scott Andrew. Ooh, hello. Cutting across, nearly. <laughs> yeah, if you go watch Scott's uh, latest video, he starts off in there in the morning. Uh, although he's actually heading to London, so he's probably the other side. Um, yeah, so, we're on our way to Cardiff still, obviously. Uh, time is 10 past seven, and, um, we're, we're, we're a little bit early yet. ETA is 20 past eight. Not due there till nine o'clock. So we're, uh, we're just chilling at 80 kilometers an hour, which is 50 miles an hour for those of you who don't know. Cruise control on 80, mi uh, 80 kilometers. Just gonna have a chilled out drive there. So let's go. myself dipping down to 45 miles an hour every now and then because we are still quite early oh i'm in the wrong lane need this lane to go straight on yeah we are still um early our eta is half past eight just literally about 8 28 so it's near enough at half past i'm not in a rush i'm just dawdling along speed limit's 30 long here i'm doing 20 do you know I mean? just just dawdling no there's no rush we're only three miles away as well so 
Yeah, I actually, um, I've done some work down here for Beeps not long ago. Yeah, I remember I've done some work down here for Beeps. During the night, I had to park in a car park. Rings a bell. Hmm, was it that one then? I might be thinking of a different place. I definitely did a, a job in Wales. I called it the night shift, but that's not the one I'm thinking of. Much to the left of me. Some space. Cars to the right of me, buses to the left of me. Here I am, stuck in the middle of you. <laughs> right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm not worried at the moment. There's a couple of um, turns that I just need to be careful with the back end on, that's all. Because um, that bus is now indicating to get in this lane. Um, the wheels on, on the trailer are like, not in the middle of the trailer, but like about three quarters along. So there's about a quarter of a trailer that's just overhanging, so there's a bit of an overswing. Because the wheels are so close to the tractor unit, that's why it was turning so much quicker as well. Uh, as opposed to my trailer, you've got to do a lot more emphasis to keep the trailer to turn around. Whereas on this, you don't. That bus is still on the left. He's, it's like he wants to get past me, so I'm just going to hover over the middle lanes, so allow him to turn around and pass. Red lights. I will let him pass, though. He's been behind me for ages and it's like he's he's trying to get past me but scared to. <laughs> now I've got a van next to me as well, who wants to carry on? Let's just let the bus through and I can get on over. He's still indicating that. Yeah, he wanted to get into this lane, but he wanted to undertake that. Oh, he put his asses on, so he knew that I did that on purpose, that's good. Very nice bus driver. I deliberately left and did take me. Right, two and a half miles. I'm still ten minutes away though, so I'll uh, see you guys when we're a little bit closer. Okay, so first turn is this one here. Need to make a left turn here. Um, but I am in this lane just to get round, just to make it easier. I don't want to be struggling. People are definitely looking at the trailer. <laughs> 100% looking at the trailer. One mile and three quarters to go, six more minutes and we will be there. Dawdling. We're just going slow. Oh no, I'm in the right lane. That car in front, oh, so ugly, isn't it? I'm sorry if you own one of them. But that number plate, like that, it just doesn't look right. It's just not symmetrical. I really don't like the look of it. <laughs> People might not like the look of my face, but <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like the look of these discoveries with the number plate like that. One and a half miles to go. We'll be there. So there's bollards. They got to lower the bollards for us to get in. If the bollards are already lowered, I'll, I'll go straight down. But if they're not, I'm gonna have to wait until wait in a bus stop. Um, I hope that I don't get in too much trouble for that. I know I know a lot of bus drivers watch me, so please please don't get angry with me. <laughs> Especially if you're a driver in Cardiff. <laughs> I've got to do it. I'm not going around in circles for ages. 4.4 metres, that's fine. We got under a 4.2 earlier. We did not hit it. So we should be okay on that one. Go left here. So, we've, I've not been to this area before, so I don't know what the turns are going to be like, but it does look like there's a couple of sharpish turns. Um, with a trade one that I don't want to hit or curb anything with. So we um, see them in a sec. We can literally see our destination on the sat now, that's how close we are. It's like right in front of us to the right where those tall buildings are pretty much. We've just 
to do some negotiating around some bends. Also, I need to make sure I take the right turn, because if I don't take the right turn, as in the correct turn, then I will end up going under the tunnel. Also, the postcode they gave me didn't actually take me to the place that I need to go to, so I had to manually put it in, so I am also hoping that I have manually selected the right place that I need to take me to. Look like that, though, we're nearly here. Nearly, 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 nearly here. Just got to negotiate a few more traffic lights by the looks of it. Uh, we are going left, so we will stay in this lane. The trailer's not nowhere yet, so I'm braking, it's just not slowing down quick enough. So I have to break earlier. All well, the sun's come out to play. But we need to take a right hand turn. So we're indicating. Go right around this roundabout. Both lanes go right by looks a bit. I'll stick to the right hand side lane as I'm in that lane. Start getting left because we will need to come off on this next one. I think I've got in the wrong lane there by looks a bit. Yeah, I have. That's my bad. When you've not been to these places before, you know, you can't always get the right lane. Luckily, it's quite quiet. Uh, so that would be a fail on your test if you were. If you change lane on a roundabout like I just did, that would be a fail. What you're supposed to do is go round the roundabout again. Right, where am I going? I'm taking another right hand turn. This place doesn't look vaguely similar. Oh no, I'm not going right here. Ooh. Good go, that's good. Our oh, road works great. I thought I was going down that right there, I'm not, we're taking the next right. Um, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> the, sign, the signs are in Welsh as well, so it takes twice as long to read it. Because <laughs> you read the Welsh first, and you're like, no, but can't read that. <laughs> There's a van there, I think, waiting to get down the hatchings, so I'm hoping he'll, he'll lower them straight away from me. I'm gonna put all my beacons on now, ready to go. Come on, lights turn green. Thank you. Wait for these hatches to be lowered and then we can go from there. Looks like that bloke is coming over to me. <sighs> I think I might be here a while, you know.
here without hitting any bollards. side um, in the middle so that's where I go for now and then if I need to move I will move I don't know how far back actually I can have a quick look to see how far roughly we are from these bollards It looks like there's a little bit of space between the bollards and where we're going to be. I can see markings on the road, on the path here. So, I'm going to line myself up around about here. How many bollards are there? One, two, three, four. we need to be. We might need to move over to the left or the right or forward or backwards or even go over there. There's a guy over there genuinely looks like my boss in the orange <laughs> from a distance. <laughs> I actually thought it was in then. We'll be in. Right. Let's go and get some footage then. Everyone's wearing high vis so I better put a high vis on as well. Probably put the high vis on while well, standing on the step is not the safest way of doing it, but never mind. Right, so straight away, I think I've got to have to go back a bit more and possibly go a little bit straighter as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine ballads. So yeah, those three bollards, those three bollards there, where I am, it is the middle. But I don't think I'm 100% straight enough. Let's have a look at some of these markings on the floor. Yeah, I don't know if you can quite see, there's like, markings all on the floor, all over the place. I don't know what they mean. But essentially that is uh, where we're going to have to stop somewhere. I'm definitely not straight over. I might just give the trailer a once over, just make sure everything's all okay. Looks like it is. Who the hell is that? Four, three to one. Oh no, four, three to one. Playing up now for the camera, Scott. Anyway, I've uh, picked up a hitchhiker. Hello! <laughs> we need to get a photo actually of us in our truck as well, in my truck. Our oh, truck? My truck. Right, right it's an MAN, we both drive an MAN. 
<laughs> Not a bad one, last one. Out of a gym. Smile. <laughs> so social media duties, that is. See about. A sixty pound fine. I wonder if it worked. Is it a sixty pound fine in a truck? Something like that. I know it is in a car. Who's your hot sir? <laughs> Every time. So we've just dropped off the Lamborghini trailer in Cardiff and um, Scott obviously knew I was coming because we talk every day, don't we Scott? Hello! Unfortunately, yes. and uh, he came and said hi. I wasn't actually expecting you to come say hi. To be fair, I was very didn't, I very hungover. I was actually expect if you were going to come say, see ya. <laughs> if you did come say hi, I was expecting you to actually tell me you were going to come say hi. Well, I shared my location. But you just, just, oh, I did share my location, yeah. Did you, did you play my message for the, for the, for the video? No. Welcome to my country or something, innit? It's a bit late now. No, it's not that. Where do we go, mate? That way then, that way. What, straight over? Uh, correct? Question mark? Where the red light is? Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think it is. I've never actually driven here this bit, so I don't, I don't actually know. Beacons off. Got a new beacon there, innit? Gotta love the beacons. It's quite bright. Yeah, I actually saw that from way back there. Yeah, and it's daylight. I'm yet to see what it's like in uh, during the evening. So, oh, if you um, just to let you guys know, I am taking Scott home. <laughs> He's the way you said that just made it sound so sinister. <laughs> kind enough to uh, come and say hello to me, but lazy enough to <laughs> he wants a lift back to his house. Well, it saves you an Uber. <laughs> oh, come on, turn green. There's literally nothing. Gotta be patient, boy. I saw your vlog yesterday. Which one? The hay one. And it was like, come on, there's nothing here. But for me. But it's not how I sound. <laughs> it is. <laughs> talking about lambs as well, weren't you talking about lambs? Yeah, I, oh, I, some, a lot of people picked up on that. It's like, I saw lambs in a field. It, that, that, that was it. And you couldn't then steer. <laughs> you couldn't then steer. So that was a really bad joke. What? You couldn't steer because you saw lambs, and then you couldn't steer because. Go home, Luke. <laughs> I'm in the wrong lane. <laughs> I need to go right. According to, to that nav, anyway. I feel like I'm not sure if I'm just because I'm in the passenger seat, but this might be. <laughs> Why is there so many red lights? This truck might be a bit more bouncy. Though. There's like nothing here. Sort it out, Scott. Oh, uh, You're the voice of your country. I'm trying to think. Uh, well, you need to let me know if I'm going straight on. Yeah, I got straight on my PGM. Now I'm in the wrong lane. Hang on, so I've got to get in the left lane to go straight on. Oh, it goes into a bus lane. Just to go to the right. No, go, go this way, because that goes into Straight a on or right? Straight on. Straight on. Damn it, I meant right. <laughs> I knew I was going. Sat now I was like, what are you doing? Why that... did you ask me to put it in the sat? Actually, I put it in the sat. You put it in the sat now. You, you suggested it. I need to dust inside here. Yeah. Who warming you? Yeah, come on. I can put it on low and I can pretend the aircon is on. It says AC. Whether or not you feel any coldness is. To be fair, I think that's warming it up. Even more. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta drive the window. Really warming it up. <laughs> yeah, turn that off. <laughs> Open your window if you want. I'm actually a little hot. You say stuff. So no one else is um, on the chat yet this morning. No, I don't think so. Uh, end of the road, turn right. Satnav says left. Well, Satnav is technically correct, but that's not where I live. There's a bridge there as well. Turn right. Yeah, you can get on that bridge. Turn and right, turn and right. It's 15 right. something. No, it's 14.6. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's green light now. She's like, are you stopping? Are you power, stopping? Power, power, power. I'm not. Power! <laughs> I thought you were going less than me, but power! <laughs> I'm not putting the power down. Okay, ready. Okay. Oh, that man gearbox proper kicked in there at the wrong moment, as always. Oh, bloody. Yours is definitely a lot more bouncy than mine. Right, where am I going? Uh, straight over. Sat nav says go right. Are you sure you take me to your. Yes. You put your postcode in? It's locked. You got what? I, I might put it in wrong. 
Literally every di uh, direction you're telling me to go, it's like now I'm to go somewhere different. Oh, okay, I can't was here earlier. I saw that earlier. Yeah, I know you did. I was watching on the track. Straight over here? Yeah, straight over. You were watching, that's so stalkerish. You shared your location for people to see it. I saw it. Hey, do you have one of these? No, I don't have one of those. Why not? Because I've got the poverty lower cab. Do you have? At the magic roundabout, go straight over. This is a magic roundabout? This is the magic roundabout. Have you seen the magic roundabout in Swindon? No. Nothing I like. <laughs> have you not seen the magic roundabout in Swindon? I know, this triggered me so hard when people started mentioning this roundabout as the magic roundabout. I was like, this is not the magic roundabout. Have you seen the Magic Roundabout in Swindon? No, but I've heard about it. Google it. Yeah, I know, it's got like like seven roundabouts in one, isn't it? I think it's eight, I'm not sure. There's a bump here. Yeah, there's going to be a few. I, I probably took you down the most speed bumpy bit of the car, Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, I ain't got a trailer on, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, does your truck have this? No, mine's manual. So you don't have a, an electronic sunroof? No. Or an electronic sunblind? No. See, I'm old school, Luke. I have to do it by hand. You know, the older trucks were better. I can't reach that by hand. Let's be honest, if I can't, at least you, my, you can't. <laughs> at least my fridge doesn't have a big hump for you. Is it flat, is it? Yeah, it's flat at the end of the bed. Oh, what's going on there? That white car, I think, just nearly went across the zebra crossing. Yeah, oh, oh, look at that dog. Bloody speed bumps, man. Why do you send me this way for? This is where I live. Well, further down there. On a speed bump? I'll not take it to your max channels. Why oh, not? As, as the road bears around to the right, just drop me off out of that. I, I live further down, but there's like a weight limit. So like three road. miles are going to the sat nav. It, it's definitely. Are you not walking down there, are you? It's definitely not three miles. Yeah, but there's a weight limit further down there, so I'm not going to take it down there. I've got a car driving as well. Alright, I shall stop just on the. Pull up in the bus stop over I'll here, pull so. up in the bus stop over here. That's a cracking idea. I'll just side the road. Hey, this looks big enough for me to drive on. Lorry's back here literally all the time, anyway. I'm not going to stop on the uh, zebra crossing or the zigzag lines, eh? No, because that is illegal, Luke, and you do not need to do that. That's extremely illegal. Except you're just going to block this entrance. Ah, uh, that... Uh, <laughs> minor Sorry. detail. Right, nice to see you, Scott. Right, you, can, you, you, you can go now. Oh, charming. Absolutely charming. <laughs> Safe. Yeah. See you later. Text me. <laughs> you never told me how I get out of here. Do I go back that way? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was beeping my mate and <laughs> beeping Scott, and she thought I was beeping her. Um, I don't know how to get out of here, so let's go. Yeah, it looks like we've got to turn around. We might update yourself when I drive off. arrive at your destination at 1102. Lots of bumps. So yeah, uh, that was painless, that was. Drop off the uh, Lamborghini trailer. Um, I, I got there early, I got there at half past eight. Um, the guy who we're doing the work for didn't turn up until nine o'clock, which is when we agreed we'd be there. And um, actually it was before nine o'clock, it's quarter past nine now. So about quarter to nine he maybe turned up and we left about nine o'clock. We were there for 15 minutes and that was it. Trailer dropped, off we go. And uh, the, um, they said that it's probably one of the best drops they've had. Nice and easy. I better turn you around a little bit so you can see me a bit more. There we go. Did you miss me? <laughs> um, so yeah, we're off. Off, back to Swindon. Uh, ETA there is about 11 o'clock. Uh, and considering I want it to be back by 12, that's actually incredibly good, so... Oh, M4 signs there, look, so we're heading the right way. So yeah, I'm happy. We're going to be back for 11. Uh, my girlfriend isn't going to be home there until like 1 o'clock, so I'm not in a major rush to get home. But if I suppose if I do go straight home, I can edit this video and get it uploaded. We will see. Alright, let's crack on. Uh, 80 miles from here. An hour and 50 minutes. See you in a bit. Right, you join me one and a half hours later. Uh, we're just around the corner now from the yard. If I can overtake these cyclists, that would be nice. That tree is obviously sticking out a bit there. There's a lot of, uh, there's a car right up my, you know what? 
right up at my you know what. Yeah, uh, it was so windy last night by the looks of it. There's lots of like trees and branches that have like fallen down. Gonna go for the overtake. That cyclist put his hand up in appreciation for my waiting. I'm not in a rush to overtake cyclists, especially when I'm just around the corner from my yard. I was quite happily stay behind them the whole way. Uh, I've said before, where we work, where I work, where I live, because I live around this area as well. It's just, you get cyclists, you get, there's another branch out on the road, cyclists, uh, horses, they, um, yeah, they're very common all over the place, so um, you just kind of got to expect it, really. That car had just overtaken that cyclist and was about to overtake me as well and I realised I'm indicating right. Are you in a bit of a rush? Oh, BMW as well. No surprise. Sorry if, if you own any BMWs. <laughs> so yeah, we're just around the corner from the yard now. It's uh, 10 to 11. So considering I want it to be back by 12, it's fantastic really, isn't it? So, um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. I washed my truck yesterday, so it doesn't really need a wash. That being said, if the wash is out, um, I may give it a very, very quick blast. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Supposedly, um, we're supposed to have some guy here putting decals on the trucks. Not all the trucks, I think two of them have been booked in. So apparently we're supposed to be getting signage put on the side of the trucks that say JK Transport. Um, and uh, apparently two trucks have been booked in. I imagine that uh, Jabber's will be done. You've seen Jabber a few times in my videos. I but I would like to think that mine would be the next one done. But we'll have to see. We'll wait until we get in there, see if we see them in there or not. Nitchy your leg. Uh, so yeah, at least it's stopped raining. It's actually looking relatively nice outside at the moment. I've been wearing glasses, sunglasses on the way back as well. Um, it was miserable weather this morning. Still a little, little bit windy. This guy's not left a lot of room for a truck to pass, has he? Not a lot of room at all, considering there's a ditch there. I don't really want to go in it. Right, we're clear, we're clear. Yeah, anyway, apologies for the length of this video. I don't think this is uh, gonna be a particularly long vlog, uh, but then again, you did get an hour and 10 minute vlog on Wednesday from uh, Glastonbury video. Speak of the devil. Hello. Right, how close are you to the yard? I'm coming through the gate now. Right, wash it all real quick, mate, they wanna sniff it up. All right. The wash is all right, mate, all right? Yeah, you're on the vlog. Yeah, make sure, make sure you let me come out to the new workshop around the front, alright, that's why we're doing that. Oh, right, I'm at the back. Yeah, yeah, we've got to wash the for us, mate, they can't do it dirty, you need to wash the cab off really good. And, and the back cab as well, you're having to stick on the back of the cab as well. So, wash it at the back or the front? Wash the lorry around the back on that area, yeah, but you need to wash the whole cab, including the back of the cab as well. Yeah, well, I washed it yesterday, I'll give it a quick blast. It's got to be clean, mate, otherwise the stick won't stick. Alright, all right. see you in a bit. I'm walking around there now anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, you give me a hand then. But I'm going to get something. Speak to you in a minute. Alright, bye. <laughs> I think that's a no then to help me out. Right, so it looks like I am getting the stickers on, but I've got to wash the truck. Oh, the noise. Sorry for that noise. It's because I've taken the seatbelt off, isn't it? I've put it back on just temporarily. Got quite a bit of hate for that noise on the last vlog. It is annoying, I, I understand. Right. Let's give this truck a wash and then uh, get the new stickers on. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the uh, the video. Do appreciate it. Uh, very nice to see Scott as well. Um, bit cheeky that he wanted to lift home. Bit cheeky, but never mind. Right, see you in a bit. Bye.